This video is sponsored by DraftKings. This hidden offense might be the best offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! Thank you! Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. It has explosive run plays. Run. Glitch routes that beat any defense. And one play touchdowns against score versus every defense in the game. So if you want to see what offense I'm using in results like this, run away, run away. stick around after the intro. The For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Green Bay Packers since this has been one of my most requested teams to use in the comment section and I am running out of time to use Aaron Rodgers on this team before Madden 24 drops. My depth chart changes for the Packers is simple as I just want to start the fastest receivers instead of the highest overall ones like Christian Watson, Bo Melton, and then Alan Lazard in the slot, although sometimes I like to use Romeo Dobbs as well who has a 92 speed. On defense, I like to use rookie Devontae Wyatt and outside linebacker Preston Smith at the defensive end spots and then put Quay Walker who is a middle linebacker at the right outside linebacker spot for his speed but everything else after that is left exactly the same the playbooks that i'll be using for today's gameplay are once again my pittsburgh steelers offense and multi-d defensive ebooks only this time i'm going to make sure that i set the nfl live playbooks to on so that i can unlock the offense that this gameplay is about but before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button as I'm trying to hit 100k subscribers before Madden 24 drops. Also, if you haven't seen me use your favorite team yet or if there's a team you'd like me to try, make sure to let me know in the comments section as I might use them in an upcoming video. And if you need more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I started this game out on offense and I was really trying to force a new scheme that I came up with out of the single back wing slot. It worked out pretty good as I in the scoring range pretty quick but this offense is new to me and i haven't really labbed all the timing required yet on defense, I'm using something new as well out of the core normal. It's a very good pass defense, and I do plan on putting out a video about this soon. But every time I came out of the quarter normal formation, my opponent would just immediately switch to the inside zone and run the ball over and over and over again. So I eventually switched out to a cover four match so that the safeties would help out and run support. <laughs> Your ass down. Once inside the red zone though, since all he did was run the ball to get here, I switched over to a large defense entirely to stop the run, and we finally get a stop to force a field goal. <laughs> Finally! Back on offense, he gets me into a quick third and long, so with this offense not working just yet, I decided to switch over to my secret formation that this gameplay is about. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor, DraftKings. If you're anything like me, you're already waiting for the football season to start. Training camp is only a few weeks away, though, but the good news is you can get into the action right now with DraftKings' largest best ball contest ever. And this year, best ball has a $10 million prize pool up for grabs. How to play is simple. It's just like a regular fantasy league. To start playing best ball, download the DraftKings app, sign up using code MADMONEYSHOT, enter DraftKings Best Ball 10 Million Millionaire Contest, and draft your team for the season. And each week, you'll automatically rack up points from all of your top scorers. No ads, no drops, no trades, no I should have played this guy instead. You'll just be able to sit back and enjoy the fantasy football action without the need of actually managing your team. And the team with the most points at the end of the season will take home the $1 million top prize. And the best part of all this is you get your first $10 entry fee back in DK dollars once the draft is finished. So what are you waiting for? Head to the DraftKings app and sign up with code MADMONEYSHOT and start playing best ball today. Enter the DraftKings $10 million best ball contest and you'll get your first $10 entry back in DK dollars only on DraftKings with code MADMONEYSHOT. out of my favorite offensive formation in the entire game, the Gunstack Y Flex, which if you followed this channel earlier in the year, this was my favorite offensive formation to use, and one of the reasons I was willing to switch over to the Steelers playbook in the first place. My audible plays are still the exact same, as all I'm going to do is replace the first play with the Z spot, which is one of my best dink and dunk plays, as well as a one play touchdown versus man cover one and man zero blitz, leaving the inside zone as my only run play, pretty much the only run play I need. The fade out as my cover three one play touchdown, and the PA read is my one play touchdown against everything else. 
The NFL Live version of this offense, however, has several plays that the Saints doesn't have, including a draw, a read option run, and a PA jailbreak screen, making this probably the best version of this offense in the entire game. On the first play from this formation, I see that he is probably in a cover two of some kind, so I switch over to the PA read, make my one adjustment, which is putting the Y route on a fade to get the B route open deep. It looks like he might know this play as he drops under it, but it's too late. Break yourself, fool! As we split four defenders for the lead. Back on defense, he is coming out an empty backfield look now, which is fine by me as I can now go back to my quarter normal defense without the threat of the run. Psych! Oh, you mother... <laughs> okay. But of course, he goes right back to it. I'm so sick of these people. I stay in the quarters look and switch over to cover four once again to slow the run down. Bring that ass here, boy. Before he switches back to the pass and seeing nothing open, forcing it to the end zone for an interception. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> It's pretty. It's so pretty. Now with about 30 seconds left, I decide to play aggressive only to get a stupid animation on the safe catch. What? I get a P.I. call on the next play while trying to go for the ball. Bullshit. And now he is closer to the end zone than he has been all game. I know he likes to run the ball, so I switch to a larger defense to get the stop and force another field goal to end the half. No! He gets the ball back after halftime and goes right back to running the ball every time he sees me in a small defense. As he slowly bleeds me out on the ground and with short pass plays, even going as far as to running the clock every play to zero in the process. What a pussy. I finally get him into a third down, but I get a little too aggressive trying to get the stop as we switch to a man zero blitz that he beats with another short route to take all the way to the house for the go-ahead score. Damn it! He tries to go for two, but from this formation, it's obviously a run play. Trail, I bet you here. Back on offense, I'm trying to set up a one play touchdown, but I can't read whether he is in cover three or cover one man. So I switch to the run play instead just to be safe. The previous play menu keeps saying that he's in a cover three, so I take the running back underneath for the first down on the next play before he switches back to cover one man, making it very hard to read what defense he is in. I finally see him switch over to another defense that looks a lot like a cover zero, so I switch to the drive age wheel play, as all I have to do is put this X route on a streak watch for the corners to bump into each other, and then just lob it up before the pressure gets to me. Thank you. On my ride, but I, in it. I have to go for two here, since it looks like he might be in a man zero cover once again. I switch to the drive age wheel one more time, as this wheel route can beat just about any defense in the game for two yards, as long as you throw it out immediately after the snap and run wide to the edge, making this maybe the best two-point play in the game. The only thing that can really stop this, though, is if the user sprints over there to try to break it up, so I put the X route on a slant just in case he leaves the middle of the field for the running back to give myself a second option, but that's a second option that I rarely need. Oh, shit, that's just too easy! On the kickoff, Mason Crosby's all weak leg comes in handy as my opponent tries to let the kick go out of the back of the end zone, only to watch it die inside the five instead. <laughs> I push him backwards on the next play to get him inside the two, and now smelling a potential safety, I send the house, which results in a 30-plus yard run to end that possibility. He goes right back to his ball control style of dinking and dunking me before getting another big run on the ground and going right back to running clock in hopes that he can score and give me the ball back with no time left. I get him to a third and one at the two-minute warning, and I try to send the house one more time, only get beat on another zig route that he luckily takes inside the five, meaning that he can't run the clock out of me from here. He tries to scramble for the score on the next play, but he goes out of bounds to stop the clock before switching back to the inside zone to punch it in before I can get my defense set up. And now I have to score a touchdown in under two minutes left in the game. He comes out of small defense, obviously trying to defend against the pass and deep throws. So I give him a taste of his own medicine by switching over to the inside zone. Only I show him how the inside zone should work. As I take it all the way down for what could have been a score before letting myself get tackled at the one so I can run a little bit more clock before scoring. He still has 46 seconds left and two timeouts though as I figure he won't run the ball as much in this situation. He starts to drive off running the ball anyway before I get into a third and seven then he picks up with a quick pass right over the area that I was supposed to be covering. Before he hurries me up and hits the running back over the middle to get one last attempt to tie the game. I gotta give it to him because Crosby never would have made that. In overtime, he runs his offense the exact same way, running the ball, dinking and dunking, even running clock before he hits the tight end on the streak the exact same way he did to get in the field goal range before the end of the game. Then he hits me with a zig just like he scored on earlier before switching over to the inside zone to finish the drive. I lost. I lost. Wait a minute, I'm not supposed to lose. Let me see the script. But luckily, this is playoff rules, so my offense will get a chance too. Wait! Oh! 
I get another shot! I didn't need much either as I see a light box on the very first play and switch over to the inside zone one more time. But you know we're going to score from here as I'm already planning on going for two and the win. Now if I came out and saw a light box one more time, I would have easily switched over and ran again, but he clearly wants to stop the run first, so I switch over to the exact same setup I used before, make a quick adjustment, and that's all folks. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more from the offenses and defenses that I was using in today's video, I will have links in them popping up on screen. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let's shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.